20-foot waves at the coast, 35 inches of snow on Mount Hood, and the wettest October in more than a decade for the Willamette Valley. Call it La Nina's preview of coming attractions for this winter, and La Nina has a long history of causing trouble in the Northwest. In 2007, snow plows cleared down trees in the coast range and entire hillsides snapped during a 36-hour windstorm. It looks like uh, Mount St. Helens blew again. This is the last time La Nina ran the show. But remember the floods of 1996? It was a La Nina winter when we had the 100-year flood and the Willamette River came within inches of flooding downtown Portland. Right now, far from Washington and Oregon, down near the equator, buoys bobbing in the ocean tell us the water's been unusually cool for months and it's getting cooler. That's La Nina, and that cool water changes the storm track, making it stronger and aiming it more often at the northwest, leading to more frequent and powerful storms and typically a cooler winter. At least 75% of La Ninas are extra wet, so expect more rainy days, a higher risk of northwest flooding, and a greater chance of a windstorm. The Willamette Valley is overdue. But here's something to love about La Nina. It almost always means drier mountain snow and more of it because it brings cooler temperatures. Studies show La Ninas like this one boost snowfall from an average 270 inches at government camp to 370 inches there. But what about the million dollar question of snow on the valley floor? I expect at least one valley snow of several inches this winter, but overall, La Nina does little to change what we'd expect when it comes to valley snow. So more than anything, plan on extra rain and wind in the Northwest.